Hello guys, this is Code and Code and this is 10th lecture of String Algorithm Series. In this lecture, we'll be learning how or uh, what is the structure of trider structure and how insertion and all uh, work in the trider structure. Insertion and uh, search and all work in trider structure. So what uh, the trider structure is actually a canary tree. I don't know how to pronounce that, but you get the idea like binary, ternary and so on. K here is general for binary case, two ternary case, three and so on. In other words, for it's it's a canary tree. So let me show you with an example. So this is an example of ternary tree, right? Each node can have at max three child node. For example, for this node, which is the root, we have two child nodes for this node we have three child node for this node we have two child node for this we have zero so at max a node can have three child node this is an example of ternary tree S uh, same way tri data structure is a canary tree where k the size of k depends upon the number of unique characters in the in the words that we are going to insert in the tri right for example if the words only use small letter uh, characters from English alphabet then K would be 26 right so K depends upon the uh, number of unique character in the words that we are going to insert in the tri data structure now if I show you the example how we insert data in tri so suppose we wanted to insert the word BAD okay bad so what we do we'll start from the root this is the root node and see whether uh, B exists as child or not from here the answer is no so we'd create a new child and uh, with B and we'll move on there from here we would check whether A exists or not the answer is no we'd create a new uh, child node and uh, with A and move on there similarly for D right so this is how you insert uh, words in the try data structure now suppose we wanted to insert bar again we would start from the root we we'll see whether b exists or not as a child the answer is yes so we move on to there we will see whether a exists or not as a child yes it exists so we would move on there we won't create of course because they already exist now from here we will see whether r exists or not of course r do not exist so we we'll create a new node with r and we would move on there so we have inserted all of the characters so bar is also inserted in the try so if you wanted to search something like say uh, bad so what you would do you would start from root again you see whether b exists or not the answer is yes we would go to a and then we would go to d now since we have checked for all of the characters we have matched all of the character and uh, and we have matched since we have matched all of the characters so we can from here return true for example if you wanted to search man man uh, you would start again from the root and you see whether m exists or not as a child the answer is no so directly from there you can return uh, false and so on so this is how searching and insertion takes place in the tri data structure the implementation don't worry we'll we'll see that as well so if you insert all of these characters this is how your trial looks okay you can perform search like bakery b a c k uh, you will see whether b exists or not yes so if you would go to a then you'd go to c then you would go to k and then uh none of the other characters of bakery exist so you can directly return false from here right so this is how uh, search works now then we have binary try binary try uh all of the uh it is basically binary tree right it, it is not a specific character uh structure not a standard structure i'm just calling it binary right because of course it can have at max two child each node can have at max two child because zero or one these are the two unique character in the words that we want to insert in the try right and why we need this if you remember the in the first lecture of the try i told you the kind of problem that we'll be, we'll be able to solve using try data structure this was the example uh, example problem that i show you and it deals with xor uh, xor operation of on binary uh, on binary numbers right so this because of this we'll be solving that problem using binary try we'll be inserting all of the integers inside uh, in the try and then perform somehow we'll be able to we'll be able to perform third query in log n time okay and because of this we will be using try data structure and as you can see uh, let me just show you the structure of the try so this is a binary try right and structure would look something like this so since since each node need uh, need a pointer to 
k child that's why uh, structure would have node pointer uh, of size uh, s i z e of course I, i've defined it 26 because i am uh, assuming that we are working only on small letter characters right that's and that can be 26 different character that's why i'm using uh size to be 26 so this is your what we say the pointers initially all will be initialized with null each time you wanted to insert a new character you see whether that pointer exists or not for example if you wanted to insert b from root so inside root you check in the array uh, array index one because zero represents a one represents b and so on right so you say whether a is null uh, ar of one is null or not if it is not null that means b already exists if it is null we would create a new node and so on and map it to that newly created node right so this is the uh, structure of each node of the try uh, count how many times you have passed through each node for example when i was inserted b a d so b was traverse one a was traverse one t was traverse one so count would be one 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 for each these nodes now i want to insert b a c k now i would go to b so count of b would become two similarly count of a would become two count of c and k would be one one now if you if uh, this how how this will help if uh, there are like tens of uh, a lot of words like tens power four or five and then someone asks you q queries in each, each query he would give you a, a string and ask you uh, for how many words uh, this string acts as their prefix for example these are all of the words and then i'm asking for how many words a b is their prefix so all you have to do is go inside the tree and follow the b a not a b b a b a you would see count of a is two that means this this substring is actually prefix of two words right so this way it can help uh, depending upon your uh, your problem uh, you can add or remove uh, other other data from this structure end of word represent whether this node is end of certain word or not for example b is not end of any word d and k are end of word t is end of b a d k is end of b a c k so bool value would be false for those nodes for which they are not end of any word we have inserted only bad back car and cat right so c is not end of any word that is why a end of word for this node would be false for these it would be true right so this is how the structure of a tri data structure looks like so for binary for example for for this try we have size 26 right for binary try what will be size of course you might have guessed it correctly only two see there's a solution of this problem so uh, since we will be using binary try here so of course size would be only two so yeah, this was all for this lecture if you have any doubt or query till now you can ask in the comment section in the next lecture we are going to implement the uh, insertion uh, you can see here we'll be in, uh, implementing insert delete i don't think we need delete but if if we need it to delete we'll implement delete as well and insert search insert and search for sure maybe if we need delete we'll implement that as well so all of the function that we need to construct the try we'll learn all of that in the next lecture so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you